how to use Tela screen recording. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can use Tela screen recording. Tela screen recording is an amazing tool that allows you to record and edit videos for you. The best part is, is that they have a seven day free trial with no credit card requirements and they have many different features. Recording is reshot with goodbye to single takes and hello to clips. You're able to record your clips or videos in small, manageable parts and edit and rearrange later. You can also choose to add speaker notes and jot down ideas while taking points or while reading an entire script. And the best part is, is that you have a native application for Mac or jump cross-platform with their web-based app. The best part is, is that you have transitions, zoom effects, and backgrounds that can be added and you can cut without the chase. So there is amazing video editing tool, Tela, which is enabled and boosted by AI, where you can delete silences using AI, remove filler words with AI, and edit with text as well. This is going to reduce your time in spending hours and hours on video editing. So let's get started with Tela. To get started, click on get started or sign up on the top right. And once you do that, you can sign up with your email address or continue with Google. I am just going to be continuing with Google over here. And once I proceed with Google, I'm just going to click on continue. And once I continue on over here, we're going to be led to the next page, which is going to be our sign up page. Now over here, we're going to add where we heard about this, if we want to invite our team members, and if we want to start our seven day free trial. Once you've done that, you can proceed with screen recording. Now for this, all you have to do to get started with your screen recording is click on record video. And if you want to use, you can use the web app or the Mac OS app. I want to use the web application. Once I do that, we have to allow it the permissions it requires for it to record. So we're going to allow camera and mic permissions and you're going to see a pop up in the top left. So I want to allow this time or you can choose to allow all the time. Now, once I've done that, this is my tele recording. I'm going to stop the camera for now. And once we do that, we're going to share our screen and I want to do a entire screen recording. Once we do that, we're going to proceed and this is a blur effect that is added. You can record your demo like so. Now, you can click on the more section and you can click on present slides. You can choose them from your desktop. If you have them, you can import them from Google and create recordings of your slides as well. For example, I want to record a tutorial on how to upload your pictures on Canva. So I'm just going to click on share screen. I'm going to share my entire screen. So we're just going to click on share. And once we do that, we're going to, we can choose to remove the blur effect or not. Now in this, once I have done that, I can click on start and our screen is now being recorded. Now I'm going to go on to Canva and to upload our own pictures on Canva, simply open up a blank slide. Once you open up a blank slide on Canva, you're going to click on upload on the left, click on upload files. Then select the file that you want to upload. And once you have selected the file that you want to upload, just click on open and your file will be uploaded on the left. Now select the file from the left to add it to your design. And this was our recording on Tela and I've just paused it. This was one clip and I can click on add clip to add the next clip. Now you guys can see I can hear my audio and then this is the video that we have on Tela. This is the video that we have on Tela. Now for this, I can proceed with going with the layout if I want a wide layout or if I want it to be zoomed in. So I want it to be zoomed in. Then if I want it in portrait mode or wide, I want to keep it wide. So we're going to go back into our default. Then on the right, we have trims. So we have 1.9 seconds of buffers. We're going to remove the buffers by default, which are these silent parts in the video. Then you have silences. So there were five silences that were found and if I remove them, it would save 8.1 seconds. Usually these types of edits take me more time and effort. And with the AI tools that are supporting Tela, we are able to do this in an instant. 
Simply click on remove silences to remove all silences. Then we have filler words and a transcript. You can click on edit. And once you do that, you're going to remove any of the words that you don't want to include. And you can edit the transcript accordingly to what you said in case it ever detects incorrect words. Once done, you will see on the right, you have your layout, background, border, subs, and mirror. So you can click on redo, crop, or mirror your video as well. You can also add subtitles. And I want to add this types of subtitles so I can just add them like so. So this is what it looks like. I don't think these subtitles look good. I think this is going to look better. So now I've just added these subtitles. Moving forward, we can even go into edit and edit accordingly. Now, once completed, I can click on share on the top right to share my video. I can also choose access. So if I want to share by email, GIF, or embed, or if I want to restrict it to only people that are added in my workspace, I can also allow for search engine indexing and also adjust the viewing preferences. If I want the viewers to be able to download, to be able to display the view count, you have a default playback speed and more. And I can also just click on download to download my videos. Now you have your file types. If you want to download all of your clips in one MP4 video format, if you want separate clips, if you want subs only, if you want your subs burnt in SRT files or none, and people can choose to turn off the subs and turn on the subs, or if you want them to be burned in, which means that they're included in the video. Then you have your size. So if you want HT or 4K files, then you have FPS, so frames per second. You want 60 or 30. Then you can click on start export and you are able to close this pop-up if you don't want to wait and you will also receive an email when it's done downloading. And just like that, if I go into my video section, now I will have my first video in my Tello workspace. Now you can click on your profile to manage your account preferences. You can also go into your security settings to manage your passwords and authentications. But what does Tello actually cost? Well, Tela has two versions and they have monthly or yearly versions, which allow you to get a discount on their yearly packages. On the monthly version of Tela, which is their pro version, they are going to give you the ability to record unlimited videos, unlimited recording durations, upload your own clips, edit with AI, instant sharing, and 60 FPS exports. And you also have 4K exports and team workspaces only for $19 per user per month. Then you have their premium version at $49 per user per month, which includes everything in pro, custom branding, custom domains, and 60 FPS exports, and much, much more. So I definitely do think that these are amazing tools when it comes to video editing and recording. And if you're someone that does a lot of video recordings, then you definitely should be using Tela because not only is it a web tool, but they also have a downloadable application. You can download the Tela application to have it easy to access anywhere on the go and easily record your screen, record yourself, and build amazing videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.